this is my custard. What are you going to prepare? Uh, well, it doesn't have to be an evening meal. It could be an any time meal. Um, this is going to be our evening meal, but it takes a long time to cook. Well, a good few hours at least, because we're making a hot pot or stew. And in fact, what we're actually making is a Karelian hot pot, which is a Finnish dish come from Finland. And this traditionally is cooked in a pot in an oven and can take up to six hours. Now we ain't gonna be taking six hours, okay, with our oven and everything. Um, but that's what we're making. So I've got most of my ingredients ready. I'll just sort out the meat and then I'll tell you exactly what we've got to do. Karelian hot pot. So I've got my casserole uh, dish or pot on the um, on the oven. I put about a tablespoon of vegetable oil. We can use lard if you want, be more traditional. Um, I'm just going to get that up, and what we're going to do is we're going to start browning our meat. Now, traditionally, this would be uh, pork and beef, but obviously, being in Finland, you could use elk, uh, you can lamb. We're actually going to be using beef, pork, and lamb. Okay, so I've got some sort of stewing beef here, braising beef. That's already diced up, and so what I'm going to do when that oil gets hot, I'm going to put that in there. So we're going to brown it off and remove it, put it into a bowl, and we're going to do that until we've done browned off all the beef. Beef. Uh, my pork. I've got some pork fillet um, medallions. I'm just going to cut them a bit smaller. Again, we're just going to brown them off, chuck them in the bowl with the beef, and then I've got a bit of lamb uh, neck. I think it is. And we're going to dice that up and again brown that off and put that in the bowl. And the only other ingredients we're going to be putting in there, apart from like some spice type things, is a whole onion, thinly sliced, and a carrot, chopped up obviously. Right? So I'm going to get brownie my meat. Um, you'll want the oven on, because like I say, this will go into the oven and cook for a good couple of hours. So I'm just going to start browning my meat. So cooking the meat, or browning off the meat in batches, okay. Um, so I said to you that it's a traditional dish, comes from the region known as Karelia or Karelia, which is um, sort of a bit of land if you like between Eastern Finland and Western Russia. Um, an area I've sort of been to, uh, or certainly been to the Finnish side of it. Okay, um, splashing this in the room, I can't write my Now, in 2007, uh, the Karelian hot pot was actually named in a, a sort of poll or survey as being um, most people's opinion of the national dish of Finland. So you will quite often see it down as being the national dish. Um, interestingly though, uh, the Finnish do like their rye breads. And in 2016, um, a magazine did a sort of a, a poll and said what do you rate as uh, your sort of like the top dish of Finland what would you put in your, you know, your national dish and Karelian hot pot comes second rye bread comes first but generally this is considered to be the national dish of Finland so it's basically a stew um, originally uh, it would have only been produced with meat in it at special occasions because obviously, you know, meat was, wouldn't they say, say scrap, scarce, but obviously not necessarily available to everybody all the time. So it would have been cooked on special occasions, but now, of course, it's something that you will find, you know, it's always got meat in it. We don't have to. I mean, the version we're doing is mainly meat, all right? If you was gonna make it non-meat version, you'd have to obviously up the root vegetables that go into it. So, we're almost there with our meat. Oops, oops, I'm going to finish browning that. We'll just do the meat and um, I'll tell you what other things are gonna go in it. Now, I should have pointed out actually, the quantities I'm using. I'm using uh, about 200 odd grams or just over of each of the three meat types. Okay, I've trimmed off any sort of 
fatty bits and things like that. Um, for that sort of, or for the version we're going to make anyway, you're, we're, uh, we're going to have two onions, um, either two carrots or one very large carrot, which is what I've got. Uh, two teaspoons of whole black peppercorn. Um, if you've got sort of more fresher bay leaves, mine are getting a bit dry, so I've got about five, but, but two or three bay leaves. Um, and allspice. Now, if you get allspice berries, which I have no idea where you can get them from, probably get on Amazon Play and I have a leg from, um, then uh, you would put into there then um, a teaspoon of allspice berries. I'd put in a teaspoon of allspice. So, there's my meat in there. I've turned the heat off of that for now um, because we're now going to prepare a veg. Um, I am going to give this a little bit of a mix up because we're going to be putting that back into the pan in layers and obviously uh, I prefer it if my meat was jumbled up, the three meats, rather than just, you know, each meat in a different layer. Uh, and then so the only other thing is a little bit of seasoning, salt and pepper. So what I do with my onions, um, we're just going to thinly slice those. I say thinly, that would be that thin. Uh, we're going to slice up our onions, okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to be building up layers of meat, veg, spice if you like, and then we're going to add some water and then it will go, um, once it's got up to boiling, put the lid on and it will go into the oven to be braised. Okay, this is traditionally a sort of braised dish, like I say, it would be in a pot, go in the oven and it could be left there cooking all day, cook six up, you know, up to six hours. Um, I'm allowed a good couple of hours, two to three hours. Okay, essentially, you obviously want your meat cooked and tender. Um, quite how tender, um, I suppose, is really up to you. Now, with the carrots, um, I'm going to cut them into chunks. Carrots are a bit optional, okay, but any kind of sort of uh, root vegetable is acceptable. Okay, it, obviously bear in mind, you know, this is uh, a part of Finland that is quite north. It's not quite Arctic Circle necessarily all of it. Um, I don't know if actually any of Karen is actually in the Arctic Circle, but it's certainly not far from it. Um, so, you know, it's a region that's gonna be a bit of tough for growing things. Um, and and then you can accompany it with potatoes, mashed potatoes if you want. Um, one uh, traditional accompaniment is ligon or ligon berry jam, which I ain't got any of. Um, but we are going to have it more as just a bowl of stew um, in England. We'd call it a hot pot, right? In the States, they'd call it a stew. It's the same thing. Uh, so we're going to have our hot pot um, with some traditional limpu um, Finnish rye bread, which is a type of rye bread actually that comes from that region. So I've got my veg chopped, I've got my meat ready, got my spices. Um, Going to check the ovens at temperature. Now, the oven wants to doesn't want to be too hot. My oven wants to be at about 130 on a fan, okay, and obviously you're gonna need a lid to go on this. So I'll just make sure I've got everything ready to go and then we'll start assembling it. So into that same pan that I've just browned my meat off, I'm going to take about a third of that meat and I'm just going to lay that in the bottom, which doesn't seem to take up much room. And then I'm going to take some of that carrot. I'm just going to sprinkle that on and some of that onion. Over that goes. I've got a bit more onion, then I've got carrot. And then I'm going to add some of them black peppercorns. To be honest, of this will fall straight through anyway. Um, a little sprinkling of the allspice. Uh, a couple of my bay leaves. 
a little bit of salt, a little bit of fresh ground pepper, and then you take the second third of meat and over that goes. Now I've got some juices left in the pan, in that bowl, when I come to that last layer, uh, we'll be spreading that in. So actually, um, quite a little short one tonight, uh, because actually, by the time the drinking starts, we'll be ready to take this out of the oven and eat it. Um, so, um, I'm adding, like I say, the veg layers, another little third really kit in here. Third of them black peppercorns, another third of that allspice, a couple more bay leaves, and then I'm just going to finish off meat, veg, and then we'll be adding some water, but I'll come back to you when it's time for that. So that's everything in there, and all I'm doing now, and I feel like I say, that last bit of meat, I just tipped all them juices in there as well. And all we're going to do now is also add some cold water till it's almost covering the top. Now obviously, um, as that starts to cook, it'll all reduce down. Um, so we don't need to make sure it's all totally swamped in there. And that's it. Oh, sorry, no, I put it, bring it up to boil first. Um, I was just gonna say we put it in the oven. But before we do that, we're just gonna put that on and we're gonna bring it up to boil, which point I'll turn that heat off, put the lid on, and it'll go in that oven. Like I say, at about 130, and it'll just sit in there cooking away nicely for at least two hours, right? The uh, longer the better. You. depends how much you like your meat cooking, doesn't it? Um, and that's, that's it. So that's your Karelian, your hot pot, like I say. Uh, one time, a time, because meat would have been a bit scarce unless you went about, you know, shop something. Um, it would have been made with just root vegetables. Um, nowadays, everybody has it. Um, very popular, national dish in Finland, Korean hot pot. But I'll tell you, but, well, I won't tell you anymore because nothing will tell you. But obviously, when this comes out of the oven, when we're ready to eat, we'll have a look then, and uh, we'll try it out. So, here we go. Here's our Karelian hot pot. Um, what time is it? 7.30. We're going on for getting on almost four hours, really. Um, there's some bay leaves there. Obviously, you want to get rid of them bay leaves. Um, I'm going to serve this with some traditional uh, Finnish, I'm going to call it French then, uh, Finnish uh, rye bread, uh, limpu, okay. Um, let's just have a little taste of wild rabbit, see what the meat's like. I was going to say the meat, partly falling apart, partly chewy. Could be a bit longer if you wanted. To be honest, I'm not sure what I just tasted then. I don't know if that was a bit of beef or a bit of pork. Certainly cooked enough. Meat isn't literally falling to bits but then you might not like it like that. Um, you could leave this cooking longer if you wanted, it wouldn't be a problem. Another bay leaf there. I wouldn't say it's particularly, I don't want to say flavoursome, because that would be a little bit like, so it's got no flavour to it, it certainly has. Even though I should point out I have Covid at the moment will come in five days into it but I still have my sense of taste um, but it's not like some of the other dishes that I made which you've got that real sort of like kick of something or other um, just tastes like a bit stew so anyway there you go your Finnish traditional Karelian hot pot served with a traditional rye bread from Finland, Limpu. I'll enjoy this now. <laughs> 